You're gonna catch your death if you don't get warmer clothes. Good morning. So, you're still alive. Huh. Mr. Morgan! How are you? Indigestible, apparently. Aside from that, very well. How's the project going? Well, this is God's country, and I am his faithful servant, although perhaps not his most talented one. I have been trying to capture the grace of the wild horses here for weeks, only the buggers can't stand me. Ah. That is a silver dapple pinto. I know. Beautiful. Won't come anywhere near me, of course. He can smell my stupidity. Well, how about I drive him over? Oh, that might help. Can you be bothered? I feel like such a blunderer. Sure. Wait here. At least this time I doubt I'll get eaten. <laughs> <laughs> Much appreciated, you know.
good Mustang. Come on. Move it up. Wrong way, you fools. No, but I can ride a horse. Well, in my world, that makes you a genius. You're too kind. <laughs> so how are the uh, photos coming along? Oh, amazing. Here, I have a print of the wolves before they tried to eat us. Hmm. It's for you. That's real fine. Well, thank you. Take care, Mr. Mason. You too, sir. You too. Now, a few final checks. Don't mind me. I may be at this for some time. Well, at least there's nothing out here that's likely to eat me. There isn't, is there? Yeah.
You can rest now, boy. Much better. Thought those mountains were gonna kill me. Seems I'll live a while yet. Oh, I know. Found a couple of things in town. Made us some money. Oh, John was looking for you, Arthur. He's over by the tree behind the campfire. He was? Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. I messed up in Blackwater. I made a goddamn fool out of myself. He done that before. <laughs> I know. Tell him, Arthur. Tell him we're okay now. We're okay, Dutch. Jose is right. We're just getting back on our feet. He'll get us out of this. We are out of this. We need to keep out of it. So what do you think? We need to make some money and find ourselves an escape route, same as usual. But we are making money. Then we will find an escape. We are gonna be okay. I agree. We get some big money and get lost. Hey, Arthur! What do you want? Uncle told me something about a train. <sighs> what did he say? Mary Beth overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk rolling down through Scarlet Meadows just south of the state border. Yes. Need help with it? I ain't even sure about doing it. Come on. At night? Not too guarded? It's perfect. Nah, I ain't thought it through. <laughs> you know, stopping a train, pain in the ass. Sure. But what if we could force a train to stop? <laughs> well, of course. We get a wagon full of something flammable. Oil. Put it on the tracks. They see it. They know they either have to stop or die. Ain't no train driver wants to be cooked alive. That is kind of brilliant. Uh, for you. <laughs> and that is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. <laughs> Shut up. You might be the first bastard to ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. So we doing it? Yeah, we're gonna need ammunition, guns, look real frightening, and some dynamite to open up the train. I'll get the supplies. Gotta head into town for Abigail anyway. Don't even ask. You go find us an oil wagon. Yeah, I know just the place. They're always heading into that refinery. There's an old rundown shack just over the border, north of a place called Dewberry Creek. Leave it hidden somewhere near there.
Yeah. 